Hi guys, welcome back to UK Fly Fisher. We're going on a little adventure today. We've got a long drive ahead of us. It's quarter to five in the morning. I've got to pick up my friend along the way. And today we're heading off to Manningford Trout Fishery. It's one of my favorite fisheries. I really enjoy it. I really like the stalking aspect. Now it's poured down all night. Thankfully, we're about two hours and 45 minutes away from the fishery. So hopefully they've had a bit of better weather and hopefully the water's crystal clear. I'm going to try and get Ryan a PB trout today. So let's not sit here talking all morning. Let's get that car started and head up to Manningford Trout Fishery. The Welsh fly fisher joining us on our journey. So with Ryan picked up, we we're on our way. Over the Seventh Bridge on a short journey to England, we made our way to Manningford Trout Fishery. It's a fantastic venue. It's one I've visited several times before and I really enjoy fishing here. And it didn't take me long before I was into the fish. So much so that I didn't even set up the camera. I saw this lovely brown trout flick the black mamba stalker in front of it and he couldn't resist. Yes. yes. There we go guys, lovely brown trout, first trout in Manningford. Um, Ryan's just had a rainbow. We're gonna hopefully catch him one of these and hopefully a, a tiny bit bigger, but a cracking fish, brilliant colors. I'm really happy with that. You just like, you just kind of hit me all. There's a lump there. Yeah. So as you heard there, Would Ryan let me know there was a lump coming in on the far right bank of Manningford. So I flicked out with the black man, and he wasn't too interested at first. I recast, let it sink in front of him and gave it a quick strip. Next minute, he was on. Yeah, got him, got him, got him. Got him. Grab, grab the net, that's the big one. Yeah, I'll give you the fly after. Right guys, so we had that lovely brownie. We just got his bigger brother, the rainbow. That's a lump of a fish. We'll weigh it after. Why don't you have a guess in the comments below how much it weighs, and then we'll see who's right at the end of the video. Cracking fish. Well, that's two great fish. So let me see if I can give you some tips and tricks when it comes to stalking fish. First, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you've got yourself a polarized set of glasses. I'd recommend, again, a decent pair of glasses over things like a reel or a decent line because your glasses help you see everything. They'll help you catch plenty more fish and I would not be without a great pair of polarizing glasses. Now, I used to think it was a bit silly and people over-exaggerated the need for them, but since buying them, I can honestly say it's one of my best buys and I really recommend a great pair of polarized glasses. You're also going to want a cap. Try and get one with a dark peak. You can see here we've gone for the black. The darker it is, the better. Helps your pupils open up more, take in more light, so it makes stalking even easier. Flies, we're gonna be using heavy flies, usually three or four millimeter tanks and beads, sometimes even a five if we need to get down quicker. Things like the Black Mamba Stalker, as you've seen today, they're absolutely killing it. Luke and Lloyd have just turned up, they've had a couple of small fish, but I wanna get them onto a bigger fish, maybe even a brownie. But if they can't get the brown, at least they'll be happy with a new PB. And then I've got Ryan with me as well. Ryan's having a go on his own at the moment with the snakes and catching some fish. I'll spend some time with him later and hopefully get him into one of them big rainbows. Anyway, let's get out there, see if we can catch ourselves a few more and hopefully get Lloyd, Luke and Ryan into some big fish of their own. After them two fish, I set up with Luke. I gave him the black mamba yeah, on a floating one. line. He cast in front of the big fish we seen cruising and it didn't take long before he piqued his attention and hooked oh, into him. And this was a special fish. Walk backwards if you can a little bit. Try and bring him away from here because this is Snag City. I was catching a few small ones earlier today. I wanted to catch a really big one. This guy let me go on the Black Mamba and hold this an absolute monster. Look at this. <laughs> New PB as well. Absolutely smashed it. So with Luke into a new PB and a very happy angler, it was time to help his brother Lloyd out. I set him up with the white mamba stalker and we decided to cast at an area where we'd seen two brown trout cruising. This was a bit more luck than judgment, but with a few twitches after a long cast out to where the brown trout were lying, he managed to hook into this stunning fish. Yeah, you've got to keep tension. Yes, 
<laughs> yes! Okay, so I've had one fish over the other side now. Gareth gave me one of his white mambas, cast it on, first cast straight out there, boom, fish on. Now Gareth had just been past this point and he said he'd seen two big browns out here. And just by chance, complete luck, that the brown actually went for my fly. Awesome fish, my PB brown, biggest brown to date. Excellent. So all we're doing guys, we've got the black mamba stalker on there. Really heavy fly, four millimeter tungsten bead and lead body, gets right down. And we're just searching out these fish. If we cast out, we'll bag up in four casts, this fly's deadly. But we want bigger fish, we want the browns, and we're gonna have to search for them. Let's see if we can catch one in this area. There's a couple of browns swimming around, hopefully we'll have one or two. Look at this brown, oh my days. Got him! I got him! <laughs> He's a lump. I'm gonna get that third brown as well. Nice! There we are guys, looking out for a third fish. Monster brownie, my PB, by quite some distance actually. Black Mamba Stalker again, just jigging it up in front of him. There was two big browns going past. A little rainbow came in the first time, so I had to move it out the way. Dropped it back down in front of him and he just engulfed the fly. What a cracking fish. So with that amazing brown trout on the bank, I had one fish left and I noticed a rather large rainbow cruising in the area closest to the hut. I cast out in front of him, gave it a twitch. Yes. <laughs> the rainbow the fish on. <laughs> Again guys, just cast out to the fish. He started chasing it, slow down a little bit, let him take it. And then as soon as he turned his head, just lift the rod. You don't really have to strike when you're stalking. It's a nice rainbow. Boring down deep. It wasn't the brown we were after, but it's another big fish, and I'm very happy with that. Yes! Fish number four, guys. Another great Manningford trout. Really hard fighting, fully finned, cracking fish. It's unbelievable the sport we're getting down here. It's a day ticket venue, and after all of these big fish, we can go on the catch and release. Go for something a bit more natural and hopefully catch a few down there. Yeah, he's still there. He's in a straight line. Aim for like the edge of that bush that's in front of him. So with all of us having new PBs and catching plenty of fish, it was time for my attention to switch to right. He managed three by this point, all on the snake, oh, no. and I gave him the Black Mamba Stalker. Immediately he hooked into a nice brown trout, which unfortunately came off. But about ten casts later, I had him casting at the edge of this bush, so I'm where we seen well, a nice rainbow cruising. That's a big fish. Yeah, I know. Oh, he came for it. Stop, slow, slow. He's got it. Lift, lift up. Up, 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 up. Yeah. Oh. I was planning on doing. Oh, come on. Clever and I do it. Yes, Ryan. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm over the moon now. Get in there. Oh. That's big, Ryan. After catching a few smaller fish, I went to Gareth and asked what fly he was using because he was catching quite a few big ones. I swapped over and literally about 10 casts later, I landed this absolute lump of a trout, my personal best, and I'm absolutely over the moon with it. So check out the UK fly fisher guys, you get you on some fish, trust me. Well guys, that's another great day at Manningford, I've really enjoyed. I'm glad Ryan made the trip with me and we actually managed to catch him a new PB, just under £9, that was a cracking rainbow. Adam managed to catch a really nice brown, Luke and Lloyd, new PBs, Luke with a massive rainbow, about £9.5, Lloyd, really really nice brown trout then to follow, and Ryan's fish to end the day. We came down in search of some new PBs and we've actually all managed to get one, it's been a fantastic day here at Manningford. 
I'd like to say a massive thank you to Malcolm to running such a great fishery, always warm, welcoming, and the fish in here are great quality, paddles of the tail, really enjoyable scraps. I'd like to say a massive thank you for Chris Flay as well, who's put on today. Loads of anglers joined us down here, and we've had some really great fun stalking fish. The black mamba and the white mamba came up tramps today with them tungsten bead heads, and hopefully you've picked up a few tips along the way. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.